Today, we talk about using groups, clubs, and forums to meet new YouTubers, collaborate, and more. It is like an internet party. And then we find out who the three lucky winners are in today's $100,000 sponsorship powered by freedom. I got the words out. Ha. I'm your host, Tiffany, and you are watching Impulse. What is up, Freedom? My name is Esty Mike. Last week, we talked about collaboration. Today, we're gonna dig a little bit deeper and discuss new ways to meet new YouTubers, collaborate, and grow together. So in the past, I've tried a lot of different methods to actually try and network and meet new YouTubers, but recently, I found one that I'm truly enjoying. This is simply joining local YouTube groups on Facebook. Now, don't get me wrong, there are good ones and there are bad ones, but if you do find a good one, it can be very beneficial. What you wanna try and do is find one that does not encourage spam, but what you do want Want is one that actually encourages community. Because if you're encouraging community, people are actually gonna watch each other's videos instead of just spamming links and trying to get their videos out there. You wanna find one where you can network, meet other people, and grow together. Recently, I was added to a Midwest Creators group, and on here they schedule YouTube meetups where you can actually meet other YouTubers in the area. They support one another, and simply by going and seeing who the members are in the area, you could see of up to 100 people that are within driving distance of you. In fact, just the other day, I went to a meetup and I met five new YouTubers that I've never met in person in my area. So now I have new friends that I can actually hang out with and actually make YouTube videos together. Now I did do some research and there's these groups everywhere. All you have to do is type in your area and YouTube group and hopefully something will pop up. I did it for a lot of different states and stuff within the United States and every single time something popped up. So do a little research, do a search for yourself and find something that works for you. Now keep in mind, Facebook is not your only option. You have Twitter, you have G+, you have Tumblr and much, much more. What I'm saying is try and find a community of people, join it, and network and grow together. Now, if you aren't interested in meeting people in your area and just meeting YouTubers in general, another great idea is joining YouTube forums. For instance, the Freedom Forum is great, and you can also find me on forums like YT Talk. These sites are cool because it encourages community and not shameless promotion. With this, it's nice because it's a give and take relationship, and it's not you doing everything for yourself, it's you supporting others and getting the same back in return. In the past year, I've met so many great YouTubers just by simply using social media. And like I said before, if you're a gamer, your options are limitless. Collaboration and networking has never been easier thanks to the internet. When we come back, we'll be answering a viewer question, but first back to Tiffany and not Brittany. That's an inside joke from last episode. You heard it, folks. That's right, use all the social media you want, but for the love of God, don't use MySpace. Who actually uses MySpace? I thought they tore that system down. And now, as always, in no particular order, the two runners up in the $100,000 sponsorship picked by Heartbeat Chrome. And you get to choose from these lovely prizes brought to you by our partners with Freedom. And if you still need information on the $100,000 sponsorship, you know, get involved and stuff, check out the video in the sidebar, click on it, more information there. And now to Rick, who I bet still uses MySpace. Actually, I'm, I'm Our first runner-up is Stealthy Wolf 52 Wolf states to treat the discussion page as if you are on Twitter, active and always updated. It's the interaction that your audience loves, so take advantage and connect with everyone. Our next runner-up is Axeman Records. Axeman explains that by being active in the Freedom Comments, you can drive new views to your videos. He also states that mixing up your content will keep your channel fresh, thus getting you one step closer to success. Congratulations, Freedom Partners, and remember, you are still eligible to win first prize in a future episode of Impulse. And now back to Mike for some more networking tips, because you just need more friends. Thank you, Tiffany, but now it's time for the viewer question segment of this episode. Today's question comes from Arshia VO. I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. He asks, I'm wondering if you could do some tips over Fiverr.com, how to get noticed and how to start bringing in orders. As we discussed before, an easy way to make extra money from your YouTube channel is by taking your talents that you're using on your channel and outsourcing them to cool sites like Fiverr.com or different sites like that where you can sell your talents. So that way the work you're doing on your channel can be used to make money on the side as well. But unfortunately, it's a bit hard to get started. First and foremost, you need to do a little bit of research. Search your talent and see what other people are selling in a similar topic as yours. And your goal is to one-up them. For instance, if you're doing voiceover, if the top one says three minutes, do three and a half minutes or four minutes. You wanna make someone feel like they're getting more for their money. Then you have to have a solid portfolio to showcase. If this means doing some free work for a few people, by all means, do it. Do whatever you can to get your portfolio up and running because without that, no one's gonna wanna buy it from you because they don't know what they're ordering. 
But again, even if you have a solid portfolio, it's sometimes hard to get the ball rolling. So what I do is give a friend a free $5 who's needing one of the services that I'm selling. They can come and purchase your gig, you work until they're happy and until you're happy. Then after you have your first sale, have them review your delivery and then you'll have a review for everyone else to see. And on top of that, it actually shows the work that you did produce. So it has another piece to your portfolio and it shows that that's what they actually got by paying for the order. So now if you're offering more than the rest, you have a good portfolio and you have a good positive rating, people are gonna start ordering from you because no one wants to be that first guy and take a risk on losing a whole five dollar and then if things are still slow you can take it upon yourself to do your own promotion on Facebook or Twitter and stuff like that maybe even your YouTube to help promote yourself the more ratings the better and the more people it's probably gonna order from you because there's more ratings under your belt and if all else fails and social media doesn't work go around to your families and friends and even your pets and start selling your work to them and branch out from there. But anyways guys, that's it for me today. If you want more of me, my links are in the description below. You can come over to our channel, see behind the scenes of this show and much, much more. But now the moment you've all been waiting for. Tiffany? Thanks Mike. And remember to leave a question in the comments below for Mike to answer it in the next episode. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, like every time, who is going to be taking home $250 in grand prizes? And as always, you get to choose from all these lovely little prizes brought to you by our partners with Freedom. And now let's hear from Rick, who I totally just found on MySpace. That's really cute. It's so old. Are you a DJ? What's going on? And today's winner is... Monkey Maniac! Monkey's advice is to always have fun while creating your content and make sure you edit to perfection like PewDiePie, Vanos, and Markiplier. He was incredibly active in the comments and will definitely check out Kronos' channel to see more GTA 5 gameplay since he liked him all throughout the interview. Congratulations, Monkey Maniac! You are the reason we look down at our YouTube comments and smile and walk into a poll. Congratulations, Freedom Partner, on a job well done. Enjoy the confetti, it's free. Remember guys, share your knowledge, discuss today's topic, and interact with your fellow Freedom Partners in the comments below. And you too could be rewarded for helping the community grow together as a family. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Impulse, and tomorrow Brittany is going to go over a topic that many of you have asked advice on. Bullying. Bull bullying. You, you know what I'm saying. Until next time, I'm your host, Tiffany, and I don't think I've used MySpace since, like, 2002. Internet party, internet party. Or should I be like, ns, 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 ns. please, oh god, you're gonna use that. <laughs> it is like an internet party, internet party, internet party. You heard it, folks. Use all that social media. Use your Facebook, your Twitter, your... Instagram, your, there's other stuff, those are what I use. Don't use MySpace, oh my god, MySpace. See, I forgot what it's even called, it's been so long since you use it. Don't use MySpace. <laughs>